Now we're going to take a peek a little bit on what's going on in the background. So if we take a look at the macros button, we can actually see the PDF receipt macro that we just recorded. And if we click edit, we get the crazy, scary, oh my goodness, everything's, you know, weird. Not really. Remember, every action that we just did, because it was getting recorded, needs to get translated in some way. So notice that first option, range A18 F37 dot select. That's Excel's way of understanding that we highlighted the PDF, well, the uh, receipt area, and then selected it. And then the first thing we did was we said to make that my printed area. And then we just kept on going through there. So suddenly, the print setup. One of the things we did was we made sure to explicitly center horizontally. Make sure that's true, for example. Uh, make sure that it has a registration receipt on the center header. And it continues to go through the song and dance every single time. So suddenly, for example, you see that we've got the export as the fixed type of a PDF. Where? On my desktop. So that's all just what's going on in the background. So at least on our end, something to at least be aware of. But let's say, for example, I want to, uh, you know, instead of just using the uh, keyboard shortcut of Control R, what if I want to have a nice pretty button that allows me to just click it and it's done, right? Those are always nice. So one of the things I can do is I can actually Let's see, where would be a good place? A, yeah, right about there. If I click on insert, notice, oh, insert controls into your document. What are controls? Well, if I click on it, you see I get a few different form options. Now, forms are actually a very interesting thing because they allow us to sort of insert buttons. They're allowing us to insert uh, combos. We've got a few of them. And one of those was, again, I can insert the button option. And when I do, you see I get these crosshair effects that I can work with. And so if I come over here to, say, A14, I'm going to just click and drag this out to about A16. Boom. Notice I get a button. Well, I, I'm still in the process of getting the button. But what I can do is I can actually specify what macro to use, in this case, PDF receipt. OK. Now, it doesn't look pretty nice because right now it's button five. But if I click on it, you notice I can highlight that information. And I can actually get rid of it. And I can create PDF receipt. 